Hey, this is Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install some easy backsplash in your kitchen to make a magnetic wall. This is an awesome way to hang up kids' artwork or to put reminders for the dentist or for the doctor, whatever you need to do. Now, the first thing you want to do, of course, is you want to prep your wall. First of all, I remove all of hardware, anything on the wall, pictures, etc. Now, for this part, we are going to be priming the wall. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my primer on here, so I can go ahead and get started. I want to start from the bottom going up. So with the trim, we want to put this on last. However, we want to make sure we space our tiles far enough out so that there's room for us to put this on. So what I'm doing is I'm lining up the trim with where I want it to be stuck. And I'm going to go along and just draw a line. Okay, so at this point I am ready to attach these. This has been drying. I am ready. I'm going to start peeling and sticking. Now, ideally, you want to start with a half piece. What you want to do is you want to make the placement look random. But in this case, I'm going to be using maybe one long piece uh, or one sh shorter piece and then cut off a piece of a long piece or I could use a really short piece and then a long piece and then another, another short piece. I hope that makes sense. You'll see what I'm doing as I put them on. Um, so again, I drew my lines out so I can keep an eye on where I'm at. Um, the other thing you want to grab is you want to grab a level. I need to go out in the garage and get one, and that'll help you make sure that each tile is level, particularly when you first start placing them. The first couple rows, you just want to make sure they're straight, because if they're not, it's going to get worse and worse as you go up. Okay, so here we are. We have our short piece. I have my lines up so I can make sure we are good. Um, what I want to do is make sure I'm at that bottom line that I drew um, and make sure I'm even here. Now, once, <laughs> once you get your tile on, you're not going to have this freedom to like make sure it's all measured out right and everything. It's on, it's on. The, um, The sticky stuff's really sticky. Now we're looking at our second piece and we want to line it up. And as we're lining it up, we're making sure we um, may not want to add um, or have certain colors next to each other. So you just want to eyeball it and make sure it's what you want. And then you can draw a mark where your piece um, where you want to cut. I have a piece of sidewalk chalk I'm going to use. And again, you want to make sure when you're lining it up that you just have it in the approximately right place. Here's my tin snaps. I, I bought some higher quality ones than the ones I had before for this project um, because I knew I was going to get frustrated otherwise. And these cut through it a little bit nicer. You have to be careful because when you have like end pieces here, you're going to find it does that and it falls off. So if you have something to support it, that's ideal. I'm probably going to do this at the kitchen table once I finish demoing this piece. Don't cut your fingers off. Then I have this and again, you're going to have some sharp edges. You see this? That was a mistake I made. And I want to just go and cut that little piece off. So this is a good time to have a garbage can handy because you don't want those metal pieces falling on the ground and anyone stepping on them. So I'm gonna go toss that in the garbage. And now I can take my raw edge and place it towards the outside of the wall. And again, I'm still using my level to make sure this is correct. And I wanna make sure it is lined up perfectly with my other piece. Otherwise, I'm going to have issues with gaps. There we 
go. We've got no gap in between. We've got no overlap. And, oops, and we have plenty of room for our trim to go on and cover up this edge. So as you can see, it'll be covered. So now we just gotta go up and do the rest from bottom to top. Okay, so now we are up to our outlet. And so, <laughs> first of all, you need to cut a little square away just so you can go right around the box. See this blue box? But you don't want too big of a section because then your outlet cover won't cover it. In this case, we're just gonna make a little marking to where we're gonna cut and we'll cut it. Now, of course, I left the little edge and we just stuck on our trim on top of that like little blank area we left on each edge and it covers all of the raw edges of your tiles which are the sharp edges so you definitely want to make sure they're covered well now we weren't able to miter the corners the material was very difficult to cut at an angle so we ended up attaching it like this i hope this was helpful please check out my blog post about this on diydanielle.com and have a great day take care bye